All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna do a video here on 32-bit float for audio. So now that I got the sound devices, Mix Pre 3 Mark II, I'm gonna try the 32-bit float recording. And I got my gain set way up, way up right now. As a matter of fact, I can see on the monitor that it's kind of um, peaking and clipping and all that other stuff. So I'm purposely doing that to see if it could be recovered in post. Um, it shouldn't be a problem because actually 32-bit float, if you don't know what that is, is like the dynamic range for audio instead of your camera. And 32-bit float has about 1,520 decibels of dynamic range, which is crazy, like 700 above, 700 below. Um, and the loudest sound on earth is like 210 decibels, so you'll never clip a 32-bit float file. And I have clipped files in the past, and it's kind of pissed me off because I didn't want to reshoot it. So like I said, I'm, I'm purposely overdriving my preamps right now and my camera, and just to see how everything looks and see how, and especially how it sounds. So let me show you a few things from sound devices, and then we'll go over and show you some waveforms and see what that looks like and see what 32-bit can actually do for us. So let me move over to the computer here and show you some other information and see if we can actually get this thing to clip. Um, the testing I've done, it's been great. Matter of fact, I tried clipping the 24-bit in my sound devices, Mix Pre 3.2, and I couldn't because the analog limiters are in and they're, they're really good. So I could even clip in 24-bit with the analog limiters. But I'm definitely going to try with the 32-bit. Uh, you know, I, I, I shouldn't be able to do it, and hopefully I cannot. But I'm going to test it just to make sure that I don't clip my audio sometime in the future. So stand by and let's move over. All right, so we're over here on the Sound Devices website. And you can see where it says 0 dBFS. Um, normally on 16-bit and 24-bit, when you get to that point in your recording, you're clipping and your audio becomes really distorted and it sounds like a computer machine or something. So if you notice the 32-bit on the far right, it's got over 1,500 decibels of dynamic range. So there is no way you can ever clip your audio or record it too low because the sound devices Mix Pre 3 Mark II will actually bring up the levels to an acceptable amount, even if you try recording it too low. So this actually makes setting your gain obsolete, but of course it's still a good idea just so you don't get out of that habit. If you happen to fall in a 24-bit or 16-bit mode, you're not caught with your audio too low or clipped or something like that. So even though you're in 32-bit mode and you don't necessarily need to set your gain, always a great idea. So I just want to show you this real quick and I'll put a link of the description or the link of the website in the description so you can read more about it. And it goes, uh, there's a huge article about 16-bit, 24-bit, and 32-bit wave files and you can read all about it to your heart's content but it's really good reading if you really want to know why 32-bit float is the way to go and hopefully in the future this will be the only way to go but it does take a lot more recording room but that's okay i'd rather have good audio so let's move over to rx elements and take a look at the waveforms all right, everybody. So now you can see that we're in RX Elements, and this was my initial intro clip. And you can see where my cursor is. That's zero decibel. So everything is clipped. So from from this point forward, as I move across, this is completely clipped. And if you listen to it in the beginning, I'll go into Final Cut Pro to show you as well that it was clipped. But I can't say enough about the Sound Devices Mix Pre 3 Mark II and 32-bit float recording. Um, clipping your video to me is a thing of the past and now I'm a true believer. Uh, let me go into Final Cut Pro and show you some other things as well. So stand by a second and we'll switch over. All right, so now we're over here in Final Cut Pro 10 and let me show you up here in the browser window. You can see on the Mix Pre 006, that was my initial intro recording on how clipped it is. It's completely clipped across the board and then if you look down in the timeline, you can see where there's no clipping at all. It looks very nice and high, and you listen to it at the beginning of this video, so it sounds great. And here, this 
T013 was the camera recording that has not been sync and fixed. So let me play it for you. Watch your ears. This is going to get loud. 1,520 decibels of dynamic range, which is crazy, like 700 above, 700. Oh, you see how terrible that sounds. So the Mix Pre 3 Mark II, definitely love it. This will be my audio interface and my field recorder going forward. So hopefully this taught you a little bit or you learned a little bit. And if you were kind of skeptical like I was about 32-bit float, you don't have to be anymore. It's just great. And I'm so sick of clipping my videos and having, you know, my, not my videos, my audio and having to redo them over and over again or recompensating the other way and recording them so low that I can't hear a dang thing even if I boost it, you know, 10 or 20 decibels. Have a great day or night, everybody, and happy shooting. Thank you. Please subscribe.